Hi, my name is Barry Love. I'm the director of the Congenital Catheterization Lab here at Mount Sinai. Uh, today we're going to be showing you a PFO closure live from skin to skin. So I'm going to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Love. We're going to be doing a PFO closure here on John. John, you are how old? 47. 47. Excellent. That's what I thought. All right, we're putting in the local anesthetic here. A little pinch and a burn. And John, you suffered a stroke. How long ago was it? Early December. Gotcha. And we, so we are in April now, so a couple months ago. A little bit more local anesthetic there. Sorry, a little bit more. Sorry. And what sports teams do you follow, if at all? Uh, Giants. Yankees. And the Rangers did not make the playoffs this year, is that right? My son is disappointed. He's a Rangers fan. I think, yeah, I've been a little busy with work. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither, it's just... So we got one wire in, so we're going to put the second wire in in just a second here. Let's put this guy together again. Great. Alrighty, so our second wire is going to go in here in just a second. A little bit more local anesthetic. Beautiful. So our second wire goes in. We make sure we're happy it's in good position. That's good. Great, so we got both wires in. Yep, both wires are in the vein. We're just gonna put in a little bit more local anesthetic to keep you comfortable while we uh, put the tubes in. You okay there? Yeah. Great. Great. So we make two little nicks at the top of the, where the wires go. And then we'll put the sheaths in, little tubes that are going to let us access where we need to be. A little pressure, a little pushing. There's one. Great. And the second one. Terrific. Okay, both are in now, so you shouldn't have any any more discomfort there. And we'll just flush those sheaths, and then we'll give you a little bit of heparin, and we'll be able to get going. And so we're giving 5,000 units of heparin. We're going to put up the ultrasound probe, and if you'd want, if you like, we can even you can watch on the screen over there and we'll see what we're doing there. You may feel a little bit of discomfort in your back sometimes as this goes up. Just going to put the X-ray screen a little closer to you there. Beautiful. Great, so now we have the intracardiac echo probe there. We're going to set that up so we can see what we want to see in your heart. There we go. A 
Beautiful. Terrific. All right, I'm just going to fix things over here so my image is nice and pretty. There we go. And I'm I'm just going to ask you to clip store in a little bit. So what we see in you there is the atrial septum and a very prominent what's called a station valve. And that's one of the, that's the primitive venous valve that uh, actually tends to be a problem in patients with PFO in that it can direct, it directs the schmutz over to the left side. So we're going to do a bubble study now. We'll be able to see that. Just took a little bit of blood and we agitated it with some saline. Yeah, that's great. Terrific. So, number I'm going to get you to record in just a second there. Alrighty, go ahead and record. And there you can see the bubbles going across to the left side. Just hit record again if you don't mind. So even just with spontaneous respiration there, even just with regular respiration, you see the bubbles passing over the left side through that PFO. Do you see it over there on the screen? Yeah. Or if you do you want to or you don't you don't have yeah, to? That's it. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, we're going to go and cross, and then we're going to close this. Pardon me. It's 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 a usual. So it's it's the it's the size of PFO that is you know potentially problematic that needs to be closed. So so we're going to go ahead and put in this multi-purpose catheter and this wire. Alrighty. So we just turn the catheter to your left, stage left, if you will, and then we have to turn it clockwise to get it to go posterior to go across. And we wonder here if we're across, but we're not. We can see that we've got extra beats of the lower chamber, so we know we're not across there. Adjust the position of the catheter a little bit. It makes some little movements. There we go. Now we're across. Perfect. So now you can see on the floral screen there and the echo screen. Just go ahead and record there if you don't mind, Namruta, that uh, we're across the PFO. And your PFO being the sort of usual size and average size, we're going to use the 25 millimeter Amplatzer PFO occluder to close your hole with. So I already have that out and prepared. I can go ahead and show you. This is what's going to go in your body. This is going to go on the left side. That's going to go on the right side. There's the occluder there. The right disc and the left disc. Are you able to? Oh, great. Terrific. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I can see that. That's terrific. So we'll just watch my hands there for a second as I'm going to go ahead and load this on the wire. So we just screw it on, not too tight because we want to be able to release it. So that's good. And then we're just going to pull it in under the water here. I'm not sure. There we go. You can see this is great. So it just pulls into the catheter just like so. So it'll come out like that. So, terrific. So, I'm going to put that in underwater again. Just flush and get all the bubbles out. Terrific. So, we'll set this here to be ready. And we're going to go ahead and put our sheath in and we'll get going. So this is the delivery sheath that we're going to be using to deliver the device with. So it's an eight French delivery sheath, same size as the catheter. So we just watch our wire there.
And number if you'll just be able to help me put this on the end here. Thank you. Yep, just go ahead and put the sheath on the end of the wire if you don't mind. Yep, go ahead and feed it down. Yep, keep going. Keep going. Yeah, I think you got it from there. Terrific. And yeah, just let it go for a second. There you go. Great. Now just hold wire. Thank you. Great. Thanks. All right. I got it from there. So we go up and we go across the PFO with this delivery sheet. Just going to get separate the dilator from the sheath and then we're going to go ahead and so we went ahead and took the dilator out and now we just have the sheath there we suck some blood back get all the air out of there and number it if you'll just do me a favor and just hold this up and squeeze just a second i'll tell you when yep go ahead and squeeze make a bubble free connection there great you can let that go terrific and now we go ahead and advice, advance the device up. Just to the end. And now we're going to go ahead and deliver the device. So we go ahead and push out the left atrial disc. You watching this, John? We pull back. See how we're right against the, the wall there? Then we release the right atrial disc. Now we push and we pull and we make sure it's in good position. And it is. And now we're going to look with the ultrasound. And then, Rita, if you could just hit the Make Pretty button for me there. Terrific. And we see the device there in good position. You see the eustachian valve there flopping around there in the right atrium. That looks nice and snug, though. Everything looks good. I'm happy with how that looks. I'm just going to, we can pull and we can push. Just go ahead and record that if you don't mind, Rita. So we can push and we pull and we see that's in good position. Terrific. So it's in good position. I'm going to go ahead and release this device. It looks good. And then we'll do another bubble study, and we should be done. So I'm just unscrewing the device now. There we go. So unscrew the device, and it is released. And I'm going to take the wire out. Let's flush this back. Great, now we're going to just go and take a look there. Great, oh, thank you, Namrita. That's great. You can see the device there looks terrific, looks beautiful, not impinging on the aorta at all. And if you just hit the Make Pretty button one more time, if you don't mind, Namrita, thank you. We'll do one more bubble study, and that's it. Just take some saline, agitate it here. Stopcock. Now we'll go ahead and put that on the sheath here. All right, now I'm ready to just get ready to record and record. Beautiful. I'm going to do an even more dense bubble injection just to show that it's completely closed because that wasn't as good a bubble injection as we could have done. Agitate it with a little more saline. It tends to make the bubble stay in solution a little better. There we go. That's a nice picture. Get ready to record, Namrita. And record. Great. You can see there are no residual shunt. Terrific. John, we're done. <laughs> That's it. That's it. How was it? Excellent. I'm glad you feel that way. Can you just record one more time? I just want to show this just for so that we have that recorded. That's nice. A little UFO sitting there. 
Yeah, which just, you know what? I think that's going to go away in just a sec there. That was from where we were flushing the catheter. That's it. Sheaths are coming out, and we hold pressure. And that is how we do a PFO closure. Thanks, John. Thank you. Thanks for watching this presentation. Uh, um, I hope you've learned something about PFO closure and uh, as an option to offer for your patients.